Okay, next, uh, thank you, Dean Sidani. Uh, next, I would like to invite uh, to the podium uh, uh, Dr. Mariette Awad, my dear colleague. Uh, Dr. Awad is an associate professor of AI in the Faculty of Engineering, and she's the director of the AI Computing and Data Science Hub. Good morning. Um, after the inspiring welcome speeches of uh, Dr. Lama al Musawi, President Huri, and uh, uh, Dean Sidani, I'm not sure what else to say, <laughs> what can be said additionally. Well, um, today we are gathered to celebrate women in data science amidst a world that is recovering from a pandemic. A global economic challenge, ongoing conflicts involving superpowers, and increasing natural disasters due to global warming. However, we are also celebrating WIDS at a time when generative AI has taken the world by storm in what might be very well a turning point in human history. Until very recently, the trans transformative power of AI basically was known to researchers and its usage and adoption was limited to some early and elite users. However, the launch of ChatGPT in November 2022, which by the way, it was led by a female CTO, Mira Murati, it triggered an explosion in popular awareness and the interest of the users really reached one million users in just five days of its launch. Moving forward, the exponential adoption of generative AI technologies will not only bring disruption to human life as we know it today, but it will also bring up much more unanswered questions in every sector, from media to fake news to programming, law, healthcare, art, music, and education. As the AI race heats up, and uncertainty surrounds an impact on humankind, institutions like AUB are stepping up to provide the proper education and the necessary multidisciplinary research opportunities in these fields. AUB now is offering residential and online diplomas in AI, data science, data analytics, and computational sciences. And it is engaging in state-of-the-art research. AUB has relaunched the Artificial Intelligence, Data Science, and Computing Hub in February this year, building on its original launch in 2021. The AI Hub unifies AUB's education and research efforts towards advancing the fields of AI, data science, and computing, and this to serve humanity regionally and globally. The Hub promotes high standards of ethics and re civic responsibility in the use of these technologies. By generating new knowledge and fostering critical thinking, AUB and the AI Hub aim to contribute to the betterment of society and promote a more peaceful and prosperous future for the Middle East and beyond so that they may have life and have it more abundantly. For the purpose of promoting interdisciplinarity, the Hub will be organizing a school on machine learning inference and statistical physics to bridge the knowledge gap between different communities. The hub is also organizing a school to target talented high schoolers who have worked in machine learning already or competed in machine learning challenges. The AI hub is thrilled to announce a call for proposals in line with the WITS agenda this year. So as the conference now spans over two days, to facilitate deeper research discussions and interactions between our esteemed guests and the wider community, we are inviting proposals from the faculty, corporate world, and the NGOs to contribute to this year with theme. The call for proposal will provide a recurring source of funding for seed projects with submissions due at the end of September and the research outcomes shared during subsequent with events. For more information about these initiatives, please visit the AUB website and follow us on our social media platform. We will keep you updated on the latest developments, so be sure to stay tuned if you are interested. So for the coming 
two days in this conference, we will explore how data science can help in disaster planning, policy, public policy, smart cities, social good, and healthcare, so five different tracks. Disasters, in general, when they are natural or human-made, can wreak havoc on communities and economies. Nevertheless, data science has emerged as a powerful tool for predicting, mitigating, and managing them. Through analyzing vast amount of data, including historical records, climate patterns, and population densities, data science can develop models to forecast disaster risk and enable communities to prepare and plan accordingly. In the field of smart cities, data science is transforming urban planning and management, with cities generating enormous amounts of data from various sources, such as sensors, social media and public records. Scientists can analyze this data to optimize transportation systems, improve energy efficiency, enhance public safety, mitigate environmental risks, making cities thus more resilient to crisis and disasters. Data science can also drive positive changes by addressing issues such as poverty, inequality, climate change, and advancing human rights and social justice. Healthcare is another area critical where data science has proven invaluable. During pandemics, data scientists are at the forefront of analyzing data on the spread of diseases, developing models to predict healthcare, resources, and optimizing treatment plans. Data drug discovery and personalized medicine, driving thus advancement in healthcare and outcomes. So I thus encourage you all to actively engage in our five sessions, share your insights, and build meaningful connections and fellow professionals. So let's get started and embark on this exciting journey and start with our first track, focusing on how data science can be leveraged for disaster planning. And for this, we were going to start with our first speaker, Ms. Priya Singh, as the Head of Evidence Generation and Acting Chief of Research, Innovation and Analytics in the Supply Chain Division of the World Food Program based in Rome, Italy. Over a professional career spanning 12 years, Ms. Priya has worked in various roles in national government and multilateral agencies. She has focused on data-driven decision-making, digital strategy, business transformation, finance, and risk management. A South African national, Ms. Thing is a chartered accountant and holds master's degrees in public administration from the Harvard Kennedy School and business administration from the University of Edinburgh. She will be sharing with us her experience and insights on how, beyond crisis response, the World Food Program supply chain is actually using data and analytics to drive impactful change. Please. Help me welcome Ms. Ria to the stage with a round of applause. <laughs> 